Um, now, SOFR appears for, for now to be a very high quality, well-designed reference rate for new deals. But as the index to replace LIBOR in existing contracts without causing material economic gain or loss to either party upon the transition, SOFR has these issues that we need to address. First of all, it's essentially a risk-free rate. And it's unknown whether a market convention will develop that would add, for example, an adjustment or a spread to SOFR to reflect the bank credit risk currently embedded in LIBOR. SOFR is an overnight rate. It is not known for certain that a term SOFR curve based on derivatives trades will develop and will, uh, even if it is developed, be accepted as market convention. And even if a term SOFR curve develops under the ARC timeline, this doesn't need to be completed until the end of 2021, just when LIBOR is phasing out. And as a result, there's no margin for error if there is a delay in the process.